Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother of the Church. Mary's example of faith continues to inspire the Church to this very day. She is a model for all believers, and from her, we learn how to live a life of virtue. We can only learn from Mary if we allow her to be our mother, doing as St. John did, and taking Mary into our homes. Following her example, let us approach this altar with a prayer that Jesus may be for us the source of renewed spirit of faith. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His Mother, to be our Mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your Church may be more faith fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John, and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of Zion. Glorious, glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, 
Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken, and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately, Blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the day after Pentecost Sunday, we celebrate today as we begin the ordinary time of the Church, the memorial of Mary, the Mother of the Church. And our readings, which are specially chosen for this feast, talk about how Mary is truly the Mother of the Church. In our Gospel today, we are brought to Calvary, where at the foot of the cross of Jesus stand Mary and the beloved disciple. And seeing them, Jesus entrusted them to one another. Jesus entrusted the beloved disciple to Mary and Mary to the beloved disciple. Now these are not just words of a dying man. Ang paghahabili ni Jesus kay Maria at sa minamahal na alagad sa isa't isa ay hindi lamang habilin ni Jesus dahil siya ay lilisan sa mundo. Here, we see the beginnings of the church, of a community gathered around Jesus. And according to our gospel, from that time, the beloved disciple, unnamed, probably because that beloved disciple represents the whole church, the beloved disciple took Mary into his home. And this home is the church. That is why in our first reading today, we heard that Mary, together with the disciples of Jesus, were together praying. Mary was part of of that church which Jesus formed. My dear brothers and sisters, Mary is truly the mother of the church because Mary is the mother of Jesus who is the head of the church. Mary is the mother of the church because Jesus asks us to take Mary 
into our homes. Mary is the mother of the church because by looking at Mary, we see how it is to be part of the community of disciples, to be part of the church which Jesus founded. Kung gusto nating maging tunay na miyembro ng simbahan ni Jesus, tingnan natin si Maria sapagkat siya ang nagtuturo sa atin kung paanong tunay na sumunod kay Jesus. If the church is the community of disciples, then Mary is the first disciple. And by looking at Mary, we learn how to truly follow Jesus. By looking at Mary, we see how we should love Jesus. Because no one could love Jesus more than Mary does. Kaya kung gusto nating mahalin si Jesus, tingnan natin kung paano siyang minahal ni Maria. Kung gusto nating sundan si Jesus, tingnan natin kung paano si Maria ay tapat na sumunod kay Jesus. And if the church is a community of disciples journeying towards the kingdom in pilgrimage towards heaven, then Mary also shows us our destiny as church. Mary shows us the glory that awaits us in heaven. Mary is truly the mother of the church. We are the church, and so Mary is our mother. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus asks us today to take Mary into our homes, our home, which is the church, and even our own homes, our families, our communities. Let us love the Blessed Virgin Mary because Jesus entrusted her to us. Let us love the Blessed Virgin Mary because Jesus loves her. And let us love the Blessed Virgin Mary because she loves us. She loves everyone who loves her son. Let us take Mary, our mother, into our homes because with Mary, we are sure that Jesus is not far away. With Mary, we are sure that Jesus is with us. Mary is the mother of the members of Christ because with charity she cooperated in the birth of the faithful into the church. Let us join her as we come to the Father in prayer. And for every petition let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church whose future glory is prefigured in Mary may magnify the Lord and bear Christ to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of our nation may go towards the perfection of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that through the intercession of Mary, Mother of the Church, may the Lord strengthen all of us who follow her example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick may find strength, consolation, and healing by turning to Mary who intercedes for us. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died in faith may dwell in Christ's abundant love for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us pray for the people who requested our prayers. And let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, hear the prayers this Church offers for all your people. Fulfill our needs and guide our actions toward building up of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame, with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her, may be united more closely to the work of salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies her pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
Jesus. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole, world, the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing now and forever. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life, now and forever. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards, now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.